Hi guys, this is Jim with Modern Canine Services. Today's video is going to be on teaching your dog how to walk quietly next to your bike and to keep it safe so he won't cut in front of you when you're riding your bike. This is the first part of teaching your dog to walk quietly next to your bicycle. The first exercise on this is that your dog is not pulling on the leash. You're not going to be riding the bike. You're going to be walking next to the bike. At this point, you can decide where you want to be on the bike. So on this instance, we have Apollo on the right side, the bike on the left side. The reason for that is because you don't want the dog to panic about the bike. So he is next to B right now. He's not worried about the bike. He's just in a nice casual heel. He's not worrying about the bike, but he's able to look at the bike and get used to it. Get used to the pedal moving, the wheels moving, but he's next to B. He's not next to the bike. When you get this exercise where he's just walking quietly next to you, you're ready to move on. All right, if you notice Apollo is on the right-hand side, he's just basically healing next to my wife without saying a word because you want this to be natural. You don't want to have to give commands. You just want him to walk quietly next to you. Very important that he does not pull on the leash. If he's pulling on the leash, you're not ready for this exercise. Now, if you notice on this exercise, we put the bike next to Apollo. B is on the outside. Now Apollo has to get used to the bicycle. He doesn't have the protection of B anymore. He's still not pulling on the leash, but he has to keep an eye on the bicycle. That's what you want him to do. You want him to feel comfortable with the bicycle, not feel comfortable where's mom. All you're doing is walking. If you'll notice Apollo, he's quite comfortable now, but he has a left eyeball on the bike, not on B. He wants to keep an eye on the bicycle so he doesn't get run into. He's not afraid of it. He's just keeping an eye on it. If you notice, B is turning the bicycle. He's going with the bicycle. He's getting used to the bicycle. If he's not as comfortable as he is, don't go any further past this exercise. If you have to walk a mile until he gets comfortable with the bicycle, please do it. And you'll notice how Apollo is keeping an eye on the bicycle. It's wonderful. So you'll notice an exercise that Bea is doing now is she's not walking in a straight line. She's making turns. In real life, you're going to be making turns. You're going to be turning left. You'll be turning right. She turns away from him, causes him to catch up. He turns, she turns in, into him, it makes him look at the bicycle. He's trying to avoid the bicycle and that's his job. Keep an eye on the bicycle. So now if you notice Apollo, he totally gets this. He knows the bike, bicycle is not a threat. He doesn't have to worry about it. The bike is not going to jump out and get him. All his job is, is keep an eye on the bicycle. Again, I just want to remind you, he cannot be pulling on the leash. If he's pulling on the leash, if your dog is pulling on the leash, you'll need to back up and practice just walking without him pulling the leash without the bicycle. Alrighty, so now my wife has gotten on the bicycle. She's going to pedal. At this point, it doesn't matter what side the dog is on. You might have one dog, you might have multiple dogs, it doesn't matter. If you'll notice Apollo, he's watching mom and the bicycle. He's got one eyeball on mom, one eyeball on the bicycle. But notice his head is down, life is good, he's having a good time. Notice, if you can tell, if you can see that, He's, he's looking right at mom. He's not looking at what's around him. He's looking at, he's happy to be with B. He's just happy to hang out, have a good time. There you go. You're a good boy. Just take your time. If he's scared of the bicycle, go back to the next, the previous exercise. All you're practicing here is nice, quiet riding. Just practicing the quietness. 
You don't have to say anything. This is not obedience, this is behavior. Behavior is what the dog does naturally. When you get on a bicycle, this is what we do. We run quietly next to the bicycle. You don't want to do obedience. Obedience is fight or sit. Heal, that type of stuff. This is just natural. This is what he does. Excellent.